All right, we are here at Indian Lake getting ready to shoot some of the biggest fireworks in all of Ohio. Huge show that they put on here every year. Supposedly this year it's supposed to be bigger and better than ever. I don't know. It's probably a marketing thing that people just say to get more people to come out. Probably not a lot of truth. But we'll see though. It's always been a fun time the last few years that I've come here. Just absolutely tons of people surround this lake, which is one of the largest here in the state. I'm going to guess there are 50,000 people in for this there may be more there's other villages that are all along the shores of this so i don't know how many people in total see this but it's it's a lot for being relatively speaking in the middle of nowhere this is your first time luke it uh, is yes i'm excited to see this i've lived in shelby county which is adjacent for uh, about 13 years now and i have never seen the Indian Lake fireworks until today, I guess. And it's been a long time since you've seen a real big fireworks show, hasn't it? Yeah, the only real big fireworks show I've ever seen is in my hometown uh, back in Minnesota, Mankato, Minnesota. So uh, this will probably be even better than that. So uh, this will be my probably my first real, real fireworks display ever. Well, it's not even six o'clock yet. And there are already tons of parking lots that are full over here. We're going to go location scout now from where we want to shoot and uh, see what else we can take photos of as people are celebrating here on Independence Day weekend. Let's roll. Okay, we're at Indian Lake and unfortunately things have uh, taken a turn for the worse as far as the health of this ecosystem goes. Um, this is a very large shell that I have noticed around here and I think I was told once that it is an invasive species of snail. Very large. Um, and speaking of invasive species, <laughs> the entire lake is completely covered in um, grass. Um, I was told that all attempts to stop it have failed that uh, they have actually tried mowing the grass down and that literally it just the two halves of the grass just continue to grow that they've cut it in half and it literally just doubled the amount of grass in the lake um, people have started buying um, what are they called Brian airboats airboats people have started to actually buy airboats because they've given up um, on using a regular boat because the regular boats the grass wraps around their propellers and destroys the engines and as you can see the grass has completely covered the entire width and length <laughs> of the lake in less than a year yes it, this was not like it a fourth of july when i was here last year and luke you were out here what you said on a fall on a boat with somebody and you said it was pristine about nine months ago or so yes still at that point yep yep yeah it's it's truly horrific um very very sad now they have dredge parts of it we did see a boat going there's still a boat going to your right right now so they've made some paths for it but this will be completely different for the fireworks this year because this lake used to be completely covered with boats during the fireworks show it was one of the things that made it nice to watch from the shore because it wasn't just a boring foreground with a bunch of more people you had the water and then you had all the boats too and it really added to that it really added to it photographically as well we sat up a little bit further to our north which is off to luke's right there there is a more open area and hopefully we can get some reflections in the water there but i don't know it could be difficult yep at least the uh background uh closer um you know the the shore has some open areas but really farther you get from the shore the more and more of the uh invasive grass there is and that obviously uh will stop any kind of reflection off the surface so not only is it ugly to look at it also is going to uh, block any kind of reflections and it's uh it's definitely a cautionary tale about um, letting boats hop from one body of water to the next. I mean, I would say this is a wake-up call that maybe the U.S. needs to uh, restrict boats and um, also maybe increase penalties for them uh, that do hop from one lake to the next. Well, we're going to continue location scouting here along the shore and see if we can find someplace better than that and see what else people are up to. 
until then I will have to see if there's any other areas that it's more open but I think our prospects are limited by this grass right now looking how it's growing on either side of us here really something to see again that this has happened within a year's time yeah it's very it's very reminiscent of some sort of apocalyptic movie Well, this is another area that looks like it wouldn't be too bad. It's pretty open, but unfortunately for us, they have let it grow up along the shoreline here, so it would, would be uh, too hard to try to set the tripods up to shoot over all of that brush. I think where we first saw is where we're going to end up. What say you? I agree. Plus, it was a really long walk down here. I think we've walked about a mile and a half at this point, and uh, the prospect of walking a mile and a half back up, walking a mile and a half back down, walking a mile and a half back up doesn't sound like too much fun. No. <laughs> I mean, we're here to have fun, and that would take a lot of that fun away. Well, we're here with our friends, the Purple Martins. They have a Purple Martin colony set up here. Little neat birdhouse along the shore. I was able to uh, get a shot of one of them with a big dragonfly in its mouth. I thought that was funny. Uh, not an award-winning shot by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, more than just a bird sitting on top of its perch anyway. We did spot where the primo location is for watching these fireworks, and there are two people already out there on the peninsula <laughs> sitting. That's the spot. I wonder how early they had to come out to get here, Luke. Probably pretty early. <laughs> Well, keep that in mind for uh, next year or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cute. Cute little police dog. His collar even said police in big letters. Oh, yeah, there are a lot more people. I mean, we've only been gone for like 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes and the number of people has literally tripled um, they are like swarming like bugs well we saw a couple of open areas as we walked down the shoreline but I do think this one that we picked right across the street from where we parked is just about as good as any of the other ones we have a good amount of open water here without the grass blocking it so uh, hopefully we'll get some reflections in there but it certainly has changed the dynamic seeing all of this grass growing here but as you remarked on our way back Luke the party's really picking up now it is it's kicking up into another gear for sure a lot more people a lot more kids shooting off fireworks um, burning funyuns we saw some kids <laughs> using some fireworks to burn funyuns a um, lot more exciting games we saw a giant shuttlecock um, you know, um, kind of like regular badminton with the shuttlecock is about that big. This shuttlecock was that big, <laughs> uh, making it much easier. Um, that was cool. It looked like fun. You're resting up now, and uh, we're going to head over and uh, get some stuff from a food truck. Yeah, hopefully the line isn't super long. Um, maybe I won't rest up too long because I really, I'm starving, and I really don't feel like waiting for an hour. Well, we found some good chicken and some good ice cream. So that was great. Unfortunately, it took long enough that we missed what was probably for this area, one of the top five sunsets of the year. You can see a little bit of the glow over Luke's right shoulder. And as I pan over here, you can see more of it over there. But it was all in these clouds. We weren't here to photograph a sunset though. We're here to photograph the fireworks, but and we're on the wrong side of the lake. The lake is over in that direction. We needed to be on the other side of the lake to have shot that, but uh, nice colors as we were finishing off our ice cream, huh? It was still something nice to look at while eating the uh, ice cream. You were used to shooting fireworks for the newspaper that you work for. Completely different approach there because you're always trying to get something that shows where the fireworks are actually taking place. So you can be a little more artsy tonight. So that, uh, what's your thinking going into it here? Just trying to capture it off of the reflection of the lake or what? Yeah, probably. Um, 
it's it's very you know trying to get a really good foreground or an artistic foreground when there's really very little around here because um, it's mostly just grass so is it when it comes to interesting buildings or structures or interesting foliage it's all just mowed grass around the periphery of the lake so there is very little to work with as far as any kind of artistic expression so you know I'll you know maybe try try and get a really low shot right on the uh, edge of the water there's not too much I can do well we're gonna head back over across the street to where we staked our spot and get all set up I'm gonna try to get the drone up in the air tonight too see what we can uh, get from uh, airborne hopefully we can get some reflections or something in the water we'll see it will be different this year because I've always when I've been here before tried to get a boat and a shot and uh, I don't know how many boats are gonna be out with the whole seaweed or <clears throat> with the whole grass situation so we'll see yep so Ali Mike All right, everyone's out. The party has really begun. The sparklers are out. The kids and the sparklers, you know, that's a sign good times are coming. Luke had to walk down a bit. He is using a small tripod. It's going to try to get down here close to the shoreline and shoot some reflection off of here. Depending on the direction of the fireworks, I don't know. This uh, bush here may block it. We'll have to see from where they're setting it up. But you think you found your spot? close to the water as I'm going to get. All right. Well, good luck, and we'll check in afterwards. All right, I have that body set up there to take stills. Then we have that to record video. And the drone is over there all ready to go. Luke, walk down over there, close to where you can see those kids with their light sticks. In fact, you can see a little bit of his light there by that bush. We are about a minute away. Here we go.
Well, I think all in all, that was a success. You were able to walk down on the shoreline a bit from where you initially set up. Did that bush prove a little bit too much for you to yeah. shoot around? Yeah, initially I was trying to, because all I had was a very small tripod, so I was trying to get down to, as close to the lake as possible because there are, there are little plants all along that would block my view. And initially I tried going over to a l small tree over here and the fireworks were farther to the right than I anticipated. So I had to travel the opposite direction and eventually get right down. Um, I got a little wet from the lake, but um, it still worked out and um, I got something. Yeah, I had a balancing act managing the video camera, which I found out was a little off-center. I tried to straighten it, thought I had it, but uh, hey, that's what happens. And um, was also managing the stills camera, my D500, which I was taking stills on and flying the drone. So I was really yeah. juggling it. You're jugger juggling three cameras at once. But I was able to get some decent drone video. Don't know about the shots yet. I think there's one or two that may turn out. And it looks like I have several to pick from from the main camera that I really liked. Had a boat come right across my frame and had, uh, I think, a couple of decent images there. So hopefully those turn out. But uh, nice night here at Indian Lake. And that line of cars you can see over Luke's left shoulder there shows how crowded this is. And as I was flying back, there was already a huge line of cars. A lot of people must just watch from their cars right along the roadway and they zip right on out of here to wait in traffic. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they've got a long wait ahead of them. That is the price to pay for this free fireworks. So many people come. This is traffic that uh, is hard to imagine for a state park in the middle of rural West Central Ohio. But a uh, nice fireworks show and I don't think for a region with as small as population as this that you could find a better show anywhere in the United States. It's it was really top top notch, don't you think? I do I do. I have not been to many large fireworks displays, so I really don't have anything to compare it to, but it was very impressive. It was the first time I've ever seen fireworks over a body of water before. I've already I've always seen photos of them and it was really fun to see the re beautiful reflections in the water. Quick test now. Hi, we're here at Indian Lake. 